up guys, it's Cassie and Sarah, and today we're talking about one of the most haunted places on earth, the Queen Mary. So if you like watching murder mysteries and all things spooky, make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep on watching. The Queen Mary was built in Clydebank, Scotland. Designed and equipped to be a transatlantic super ocean liner, she sailed in 1936 from England to New York City. For three years, her prestigious, wealthy passengers included royalty, movie stars, statesmen, and prominent politicians who sailed in elegance and experienced the grand era of ocean liner travel. As Queen Mary moved into her new role as a tourist attraction with restaurants, a museum, and event facility, there were rumors of ghosts and spirits roaming the ship. Children's voices could be heard playing in the nursery, a spirit of a sailor who was accidentally killed in the engine room still is there, and a mysterious lady in white is a frequent visitor. Visitors to the swimming pool area report having the hair on their arms stand up with an eerie sense of spirits beside them. At least 49 crew and passengers died during her years as a transatlantic super ocean liner. No one knows the number of war casualties who died on the ship as these records are sealed by the U.S. military. Queen Mary, bought by Long Beach in 1967, was converted from a seafaring vessel to floating hotel. The plan included clearing almost every area of the ship below sea deck. The second plan was based on converting most of her first and second class cabins on A and B decks into hotel rooms, and converting the main lounges and dining rooms into banquet spaces. The starboard promenade was enclosed to feature an upscale restaurant and cafe. Okay, so they turned it from this ship that I'm pretty sure it wait it like it, okay like it ported, started like, right imported things no like what it started as ship. was like it was I kind of want to like like what exactly is an ocean liner like are you fighting are you okay well first it, it started off as like almost like the Titanic you know how the Titanic was like like a moving it was like a cruise <laughs> ship <laughs> yeah and then <laughs> After that, it turned into like a military ship. They used uh, it in the war. And then dang. after that, in 1967, they started building they, into a hotel, which yeah. is like kind of crazy. Whoever thought about that? Genius. Also, 49 crew and passengers died. Yeah. I what think was that, going on? I, I think this was during the, the yeah. war time. Yeah, transatlantic yeah. super ocean liner time. But so, like. And, it was back then. It was back then, the disease. You know, they didn't have it proper disease? murder. <laughs> Probably <A> both. Murder. <laughs> Cannibalism. <laughs> On May eighth, nineteen seventy one, Queen Mary opened her doors to tourists. Initially, only portions of the ship were open to the public as specialty restaurants had yet to open its dining venues, and PSA had not completed work converting the ship's original first-class staterooms into the hotel. As a result, the ship was open only on weekends. On November 2, 1972, the PSA Hotel Queen Mary opened its initial 150 guest rooms. Two years later, with all 400 rooms finished, PSA brought in Hyatt Hotels to manage the hotel, which operated from 1974 to 1980 as the Queen Mary Hyatt Hotel. Following Queen Mary's permanent docking in California, claims were made that the ship was haunted. In 2008, Time Magazine included the Queen Mary among its top 10 haunted places. I can imagine that it's pretty haunted if yeah. 49 crew members and passengers died in just the first part. Like, who knows how many actually died between, like... That time and now. Millions. Right. Well, I don't know no. about millions. Could you imagine but... <laughs> millions of people um. die on a ship? One of the staterooms is alleged to be haunted by the spirit of a person supposedly murdered there. The Queen Mary Hotel promotes suite room B340, a former third class cabin, as notoriously haunted. Queen Mary also operates a number of commercial tours that include haunted attraction experiences such as Dark Harbor, which operates during the Halloween season, the Haunted Encounters Tour, and Ghosts and Legends tour, promoted as featuring terrifying original stories and characters based on the ship's well-known paranormal tales. Dude. Yo! Dude! We missed out on Dark Harbor! <laughs> that would be so cool! I'm so upset. Skeptical writer John Champion has criticized the haunted tours, calling them a cynical exploitation of the space and noting that much effort is put into promoting the ship as a haunted attraction, while efforts to explain or preserve the factual history of the ship are somehow pushed to the wayside. I mean, yeah. If it's haunted, they might as well capitalize on that being haunted and yeah. make some money. But, I mean, I've seen a lot of videos of the Queen Mary. 
pretty sketchy. <laughs> it is sketchy, I'm, but I feel like it's worth it. I think it adds oh, yeah. to the I think ambiance. Oh, absolutely. I I think it's haunted in some aspect. I've never been there. But never been there. Will I will go there, <laughs> even when it's at the bottom of the. Ocean. Yep. Also, who knows when that was written? Like now, there's been so many people who have gone to the Queen Mary. Oh yeah. To try to prove that it's actually haunted. Center for Inquiry fellow Joe Nickel attributes the Queen Mary's haunting legends to illusory mental images triggered by subjective feelings in daydreaming states commonly experienced by workers, such as hotel staff doing repetitive chores. Okay, we gotta talk about that one. Because that is very interesting. So basically he's saying that a bunch of people are seeing like similar images or similar things mm -hmm. because they get caught up in their repetitive chores. So like, you know, you just like go through the motions. Yeah. If you do the same thing like all the time and you just forget how you get from point A to point B, kind of like when you're driving. Dude, that happened to me yesterday. Exactly. It's terrifying. <sighs> but your brain is like, no. Anyways, that's basically what he's saying is that all of these feelings and images are triggered by... That. What about the people who don't work there? Right. But it could be... I think he's also trying to say that, like, these pictures or images are brought on by, like, feelings. You know what I mean? So, like, you feel scared, then your body mm -hmm. reacts yeah. and makes you, like, see something. Basically, this guy is trying to explain that things are brought on because of a feeling that you have or other people have seen it mm -hmm. so then that triggers your mind into thinking, thinking you've, you've seen it. it yeah so like it's an interesting thought because when people are scared your mind can play tricks on you mm -hmm. you know what i mean like oh, if yeah. you go outside in the dark nine percent of the time your whole body like becomes like rigid and you're like something's after me see ya oh yeah you know, like like where you see things every time i wake up like in the middle of the night and my room is dark i always feel like there's somebody standing at my closet I really, that could be a possibility. I don't know, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you guys understand, like, when you're scared, your mind can play tricks on it. Yeah. This stateroom was a problem long before the Queen Mary opened as a hotel. In 1948, a British third-class passenger, Walter J. Adamson, passed away in the room, and the details of his death are unknown. Later, in 1966, a woman staying in the room reported that she was woken up when the bed covers were pulled off of her and she saw a man standing at the foot of her bed. Absolutely not. So, Walter J. Me, Adamson. If that happened to me, I'd probably just die on the spot. <laughs> I probably, no. What would probably happen to me, I would be Dude. so frozen from fear. <laughs> I would probably be like, rigor mortis. <laughs> and then eventually, I would probably just bury my head under the pillows Dude. and like, pray literally. for them to go away. What do you do in that situation? It's dark in your room. You play possum. The covers are just a <laughs> You play possum. I mean, that is an option, but your covers are completely stripped from your body. You open your eyes and there's just a tall man standing there. You play possum! <laughs> she screamed and rang for the steward, but the man apparently vanished into thin air. Years later, guests staying in the room have reported hearing someone knocking on the door in the middle of the night and seeing bathroom lights mysteriously turn on. Even the hotel's maid started complaining that they would find the bathroom water running even when no one had stayed in the room for days, and one reported that the bed covers were pulled off right after she put them on. The room was closed to guests for many years, but it has since reopened for anyone looking for an evening of creepy fun. Easily the creepiest of the Queen Mary's onboard deaths, legend has it that someone murdered a young woman named Dana and her family in room B474. The killer strangled Dana's little sister and mother on the bed and then shot Dana to death in the bathroom. Dana's spirit can be found lurking with the other ghostly children on the second class pool and sometimes joins Grumpy and John Henry in the boiler room. I saw that it was thought that Dana's death was a result of her father. That her, because it doesn't mention her it, father. Yeah, it doesn't, so I could believe so it. So either the father wasn't there, not in the picture, or just wasn't there, but I saw something that it was thought of that his, her father murdered the entire family, which is sketchy. Why would you? Maybe the ships drove him crazy, maybe oh. seeing things, and he's like, I got, I got to make sure my family's safe. Or he just lost it, and he thought that his family were like, like bad people yeah. or something. In 1989, 
Two women were sent to clean the lounge for a VIP reception. When they entered the room, they found a passenger sitting on a chair in the middle of the dance floor who didn't say a word. When a third woman came in to help with the cleaning, she remarked that the passenger was staring and asked her to move. As the employees started to call security, the passenger faded right in front of them, a feat all three women reported seeing at the same time. And could you imagine, you, so the ballroom is like this big wide yeah. open space. You walk in and there's someone just sitting on a chair, like not talking, not moving. This being thing yeah. must have looked like a hundred percent real, like a yeah, like, like a, a real solid person. person. Yeah. It kind of reminds it. me of like the Bell Witch or whatever. Literally. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. The, obviously, it had to look like real enough, and for all it, three women to see it. That's pretty crazy. Let's say we're all drugged. This now abandoned pool on board was once the epitome of luxury with an illuminated fountain, a mother of pearl ceiling, and elaborate mosaic tiles. The pool is no longer in use because of California code issues, but that doesn't stop it from being one of the hotbeds of paranormal activity on the ship. People have reported seeing a number of ghosts here, including a young woman in a tennis skirt walking downstairs and disappearing behind a pillar, a woman in an old wedding gown next to the pool with a little boy in a suit, and a cloud of steam appeared out of nowhere along with a little girl in blue and white dress who disappeared in an instant. Perhaps it's little Jackie's tragic history that inspired her to stick around the haunted vessel. Jacqueline Torrent was five or six when she drowned in the ship's second class pool, which is now the Royal Theater. Visitors report hearing little Jackie splashing, calling for her parents, and even responding to questions when prompted. Some visitors believe that Jackie has a friend, Sarah, who drowned in the same pool in 1949. Could you, though, imagine like going to the Queen Mary and like, obviously there's like this completely like empty pool area. And you hear a little girl like splashing in the water and like calling for mom and dad. And then just like, new. What I find cool though is she responds to questions, like I guess. Yeah. Like, you know how a lot of spirits, like, you can communicate with mm -hmm. them through like devices or sometimes even not like. I mean, obviously she's maybe a good spirit if she's willing maybe. to. Maybe. Five or six. She's probably like, that's you pretty know, cool. That well, a lot of like, yeah, kids like to make friends even when they're not mm -hmm. supposed to. Mm -hmm. So. That's cool. Grumpy is possibly one of the Queen Mary's most memorable ghosts. Also known as Grumpy the Growling Ghost, this spirit, whose actual identity is not known, is especially memorable because he tends to growl at visitors. Grumpy is said to lurk in a room under the stairs near the first class swimming pool, and sometimes he joins John Henry in the boiler room. Dude, <laughs> no! If I heard somebody growling at me, I'd be like, Dude, could you imagine you're already probably scared out of your, your mind, mind just hotel. being, yeah. The next thing you know, you just hear like this vicious growl in here. I'd be like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> could you imagine we're just sitting at a table like eating dinner or whatever. And then like, you just hear like a growl here and we'd be like, I'd be like, did you just growl at <laughs> did me? Did you growl at me? <laughs> and, be like, and then I would politely sit down my silverware and get up and <laughs> leave the hotel. <laughs> I'd be like, where are you going? And she'd be like, I'm <laughs> checking out. <laughs> It's too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. But like, I wonder if he's mean or just he likes to growl. Maybe that's how he, that's the only way he can communicate. You know, like sometimes you can hear like spirits like actually voicing. Yeah. You hear others like knocking. Like maybe that's his way of being able to communicate. Imagine the growl just being like, wow. That'd be like. Just like little Jackie, John Henry has a sad story of his own that has inspired ghost hunters to try to reconnect with the spirit. Henry worked in the boiler room and it was here that his remains were found. Ghost hunters report seeing Henry's shadowy figure lurking between the boiler room and the green room. Some even claim to have spoken with Henry, who sometimes audibly responds to questions about beer. This hatch door is known as Shaft Alley. It was the site of a gruesome accident that saw a crew member crushed to death. One night in 1966, the watertight doors in the engine and boiler rooms were ordered to be closed. About five minutes later, an 18-year-old crew member from Yorkshire was found crushed in the door of hatch 13. 
trapped with his arms pinned to his sides. While the man was freed and carried to the hospital ward, it was too late. He showed signs of crushing injury in his arms, chest, and pelvis, and was bleeding from his nose. He was injected with morphine, but died shortly after. His ghost is regularly seen around the area now, with people reporting the sound of someone running behind them and whistling. Others have noticed that spots of grease that look like fingerprints appeared on their faces. Some have seen a figure of a bearded man in blue coveralls that looks just like the man who died out of the corner of their eyes. And several others have said that they saw an engineer wandering the hallways asking if guests had seen his wrench, but when they went back to find him, he had disappeared. I heard or I saw that the reason he was crushing the door is because he was playing chicken. When the doors were ordered closed, they would try to run back and like forth through the door before it would close on them. And that's how he got crushed. He got caught. I could believe it. Yeah, me too. I mean, all those crewmen were probably bored. Yeah. So that was like a game that they made up. And so he just didn't make it through. But my next question is, how were his arms pinned to his side? Like, how do you get in a door where your arms are like this? You know what I mean? Like, the, the door, I think, swings shut or slides shut. If, if Oh, he, like this way? Like... I feel like if his arms were... So the door came this way. Yeah, and, and he was, he's pinned, oh, maybe. Just, oh, yeah, because that would crush his pelvis, too. All right. I was trying to think, like, what do you do? Like, lay sideways somehow and, like, dive and you just crush him? I don't know. So out of, like, all of, like, the ghost stories or, like, huh. the things that we've read, like, which one do you think is your favorite? I don't... Dana is probably my favorite because it's probably the most gruesome. Yeah, that we've heard of. And yeah. that's kind of... I don't yeah. want to say what I'm into, <laughs> but, but it, like what it tends I, to make the stories more like interesting. interesting. Yeah, um, I think mine's probably Hatch Store Thirteen, just because like he was probably just trying to have some fun, <laughs> playing <laughs> chicken. You know, like I just think it's really interesting. Yeah, and Hatch I feel Door. Sad, but. Yeah, Thirteen. Grumpy's Grumpy. the funniest. <laughs> I don't want to say okay, not funny because it's sad that you know somebody died. Mm -hmm. so, but, but he's like growling. <laughs> yeah, it probably doesn't sound like that. Could but. you imagine? <laughs> if you could see him, he's just like, <laughs> This is our story of the Queen Mary. It doesn't um, go like too much in depth. Like we there's talked about so what it much. was, but I feel like for us, we mainly wanted to focus on like, yeah, um, the ghosts and like the some rooms. of the rooms. Yeah, there's a lot more that has gone into it. There's a lot of other people that have done like videos going there and yeah. capturing things. Um, but we just want to kind of like do the overall sort of and put in some like interesting pieces. Yeah. Um, let us know down below which one that you guys think is most interesting. Like, do you find the rooms being haunted the most interesting? Yeah. Do you think that someone, whether it was Dana or John Henry or Grumpy, whatever, you know? Let us know down below which one you like the best. Let us know if you like this video because we like it a lot. It's some place we've always wanted to go to. And maybe go if we're lucky and it doesn't shut down completely forever, we could go in the future. Yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Yo. Follow us on social media down in the description below. Oh, I'm sorry. Hit that like button. It lets us know if yep. you're liking our content, if you're liking this video. There's so many video choices to pick from. So when you guys like our videos, it lets us yeah. know like if we're going in the right direction, you know? Like, or if we're we not going in the yeah. right direction. We will see you guys next Friday. Peace!